when you're in a band, you don't really necessarily want to look too serious because then you're putting something at risk, I think. And, you know, you don't want to look like a wanker. It's all got to be kind of jokey, but at the same time, you still have to, at some point, there has to be a, a cutout, you know, when I actually mean this, or, you know, this is actually purposeful. I want to get the band overseas to England or London, somewhere somewhere in Europe. I've been in bands before, but uh, I don't know, this seems a lot more serious. Seems to be uh, plans to do more than just the next show, which is beautiful. Like things like tours and going to other other cities. I've never done that before. It's just where I'm at right now, and having a blast, and I don't know, I mean, do anything I want, as I keep telling girls. <laughs> it's, yeah, um, gets me in trouble, and I'm, um, and I like it. Well, the difference between um, somewhere like Auckland and somewhere like London is, um, in London, I think there's always this thing hanging over everybody. Like they could maybe become a millionaire or. Um, get world famous or something, but it's not really, it's not really an option in New Zealand. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoy being in the band that I play in, um, but at the same time I've sort of found that I enjoy having this sort of financial security as well, I guess. I mean, I'm a property owner, um, I'm reasonably well off, I think. I work for a bank, just as a personal banker. I think that, that um, the reality for, for a lot of in, indie or independent music in New Zealand is that it's, you're not gonna you're not gonna make a lot of money out of it, um, and I think what that does is it creates a space where um, artists can perhaps be a little bit more daring or creative in, in what they create um, because they're not concerned so much with um, making the dollar out of it because they're probably not going to anyway. A lot of like a lot of the young bands are really driven. I, I like from what I see, like just constantly work going into organising gigs and practicing and we're not quite that driven. It's all a bit stupid I reckon. It, it, any type of fame is stupid, but New Zealand fame just I don't know, it's, it makes me laugh. Goes as far as Shorten Street. Goes as far as Shorten Street. Short I don't Probably. want to wake up after having this dream of being famous band and realise that I'm 30, haven't got any qualifications, and just some washed up Kiwi with nothing, so got to have some other goals in life. I'm not particularly good at anything else and I haven't really devoted enough time to go into anything else, but it's, yeah, it's my only interest, it's sort of where I'm at, I guess. In the future of music, I guess I just want to Keep playing, take some dumb risks, go on some big and crazy adventures and uh, you know, being able to play in front of people and entertain them with your music is like an amazing blessing just to like be able to do that, you know? That's incredible. Ten years from now, say if some of my friends are in office jobs, earning good money and that sort of thing, I'm not gonna be too fussed by it because I, I cannot picture myself doing that. I mean, I wouldn't enjoy it and this is what I enjoy, so it's what I'm gonna be doing.